Welcome back, folks. We are making a bit of money. We're actually making quite decent money. 350,000 so far, and I even spent a little bit because I added more trucks to the Roseville uh, fuel line because it, it wasn't uh, fulfilling and it has a lot of fuel waiting so i figured let's add another 10 trucks to that and they are the ones coming here now we do need to add more trucks to our stuff down here as well uh, because it's uh, it just doesn't have enough uh, so let's take a look at that uh, that's the bus service uh, that needs more buses as well. Yonkers planks to machines, or lumber to planks to machines. Uh, we will clone those, get double the trucks on that. Then these we will clone, get double. The trucks on that and these for the coal we will clone as well get another 10 on that then there is these i guess yonkers steel to machines to yonkers uh, we will clone those and that's all our lines that have just been doubled here in the in the Yonkers area uh, except for the bus lines uh, which also I think need some more buses the bus line needs buses so that's pretty cool we have so much lumber sitting here 270 pretty much lumber sitting here it's a lot it's a lot i, let, I just paused the date for a bit uh, because i let the game run to have a little bit of money to do something with but that disappeared quick um our lines are making a decent profit most of them it's only the el paso fuel which we just added a bunch of trucks to. So once they are on their route, they'll that'll make money. The Yonkers steals to machines to Yonkers will be making money as well. It has picked up some steel and the Manchester to Centennial bus service should start making money as well eventually. We have people waiting here. We have seven people waiting in Manchester. Nothing in Savannah and in Centennial. We have three people waiting, so it's not the most busy bus line in the world. But Savannah is getting its uh, construction material needs fulfilled very nicely, so that's good okay now i was looking around a bit in between episodes and i kind of have an idea for a train line that i want to make starting uh, down here in virginia beach going up to i think frisco maybe waterbury but i think frisco so we'll go virginia beach frisco over to provo olaf Murrieta, Santa Rosa, up to Temecula up here, up to Green Bay, to Memphis, to Fresno, to Madison, to Winston-Salem, to Omaha, to Concord, to Tulsa, to either Mesquite or Stamford, and up to Abilene. So we'll have like a central passenger line 
going from one end of the map to the other. But it'll be several small lines. We might make a an express train that uh, skips some of the stations. But basically have all of this connect from north to south with a passenger line. I think that'll be pretty cool. And I want to start here in uh, Olaith to Murrieta to Santa Rosa, I think. So if we do three, then it'll be, let's see, Virginia Beach, Frisco, Provo, Provo, Olaith, Murrieta, Murrieta, Santa Rosa, Temecula, Temecula, Green Bay, Memphis, Memphis, Fresno, Madison, Madison, Winston-Salem, Omaha, Omaha, Concord, Tulsa, Tulsa, I think Stamford, Abilene. And then we can make like crossing lines here for all the towns that are on the fringes of the map, you might say. I think that would be pretty cool. I think that'll be pretty cool. But right now, we need money. We need a lot of it. Because we have none. Man, these are right on the butt of each other. And it's because of this guy. So four kilometers an hour, you can go faster. So the, the buses are holding us up. Uh, let's see, this can do 18 kilometers an hour. Well, this can also only do 18 kilometers an hour, so it's not that. It's not that the, the carriages, the passenger carriages are slower than the cargo carriages. Apparently, I thought it was. I thought it was. We do need to do a lot of landscaping here because this just looks horrendous. But we can't afford to do that right now. I kind of wish that these factories had integrated cargo terminals in them. Because look at this. It has streets and everything and some loading stuff here it looks like. And over here. So I think it would have been cool for the developers to make it so that the, the cargo stations were integrated into the factories or into the industries. I think that would have been a very, very nice touch. A very, very nice touch indeed. But they didn't do that. Let's see our lines. So... It's only two lines that are, lo that are losing money. The Manchester Centennial and the Yonkers Iron Ore to Steel and Slag. But that should start clearing up once all of these arrive. We start should start making money off that line as well. Picked up some steel there. Mm. Right. We're in terminal three. No reason to have two using the same. Let's just check over here if this is using the right ones now. Okay. I 
Okay. And there's nine here. There are no machines. Plenty of planks, but no steel. But we do have steel on the way there, don't we? Yeah, 24. Seems like we should be getting some machines. We have delivered some machines here, so that's nice. Should we hook up Lubbock as well? I'm thinking maybe we should. We already have the line and the stops. some iron ore and there's a bit of steel waiting now One iron ore okay so it's, it should go up it should go up and I think we'll wait a little bit because there's still room to deliver quite a bit to Yonkers so it's not I loot that. There should be some machines sitting here. Three machines, yay! Cool, cool, cool! Right, we have 1.5 million now. So... Oh, Frisco, Virginia Beach. And Provo, Ole, Murrieta. I think I want to build this train line, Provo to Olaf, and then Olaf to Murrieta. And let's see, is Provo gonna have secondary? Yeah, you are. So, how many? Terminals do we need platforms? So we need one. Two three maybe four four platforms or something like that in this tiny little town with sixty six residents. 188, 102. 104, 204, what are the biggest towns now? Roseville is the biggest, then El Paso, Topeka, Columbia, Palm Bay, and then Lubbock. It's a little bit funny that a town like Topeka is so big. I wonder why that is. Well, I suppose it doesn't matter. Uh, so, the Provo Olaith, Olaith, Provo Olaith, Murrieta. So let's start here in Olaith and build up to Murrieta. That's a nice short one. And Olaith is definitely gonna need three platforms. So. Passenger. And here we have a bunch of other <laughs> new mods that I installed. So, curved station. Ooh, that looks kind of nice. Mm, 
four tracks. Ooh, 480 meters. I don't really think we need 480 meters for a passenger train. I think 320 is fine. the bridge crossing there and you can then curve it like that that is very nice but I don't think I want this one to be curved the bridge. I think I want the building. Ah. There. Ooh, and then we can add a bus tram stop. In the parking lot. I like that. Where's the bus tram stop? Where's the parking lot? Uh, let's bulldoze this and pause so the game doesn't rebuild it before we want it to. Uh, we could also try one of, take a look at one of the others. Uh, Elevated. That's elevated. That's elevated. That is pretty cool. I think we'll, we'll use this one. Upgrade these roads first. I think we should. Ooh, that was expensive. That was one million I just spent there. I did not intend to do that. Dang it. <laughs> Oops. Oops. can put this in here, I think. Uh, like that. Where's the bus, tram station, and parking lot? I don't think they came. Uh, let's try and configure this. Uh, it is not configurable. Okay. Fine. All right, then we need a station up here in Murrieta. And I think Murrieta is just going to need two tracks. road, I think. Okay. And then we need some tracks. And third rail track. 
what's the limited speed? I don't want a speed limit. Have a lot of tracks. Mm, third rail track. So the third rail track here basically means that we won't have cateries. That's the idea anyway. That we don't need cateries, which I like. Uh, so always we're gonna have coming in there. You're um, middle one, so I think length we will do this up to Marietta. Uh, let's see what it looks like if we just hook it in. That actually looks very decent. here okay and then we need some signals and we want auto signals Signal spacing, let's just do 500 meters, that's fine. And then we'll auto signal here. I think that's fine. Okay. Actually, catch that bus stop. But I want bus stop for you. I think. Uh, let's have a look at this bus and tram terminal. Actually look quite nice. Let's try sticking that in there. So, oh, okay. Cool. I think we'll do it like that. Uh, it's eighteen fifty. Do we want to make it 40 meters? Yeah, why not? It's a bus. Uh, terminal 2, there will be no Terminal 2, I think. Center Island Square. Uh, temperate, maple, and oak. Sure, why not? Center line. Station sign. And lighting. This is so cool. Would you look at that? That does get the station there, which I don't like. So let's make it 20 meters instead. That is so cool. I really like that. 
Very nice. Alright, and in Murrieta we want a bus stop as well. But we'll, we can figure that out later. How much do we reach? Not a whole lot. We can not figure that out later. We can figure it out now. Um, let's... Let's put you in here. Actually, you know what? Let's put a street in like this. Uh, not. Street in there. Let's pull those this. The medium street. So like that. And then we can put this in maybe. a little bit longer and then we can put it in here uh, we need to just transform this a little bit though I think that's good And then we need a regular bus stop, something like here. Okay. And we of course need a road depot. Depot. We'll put the depot down here. that and create a new line from there to there and that's basically it for now and this will be Murrieta bus service we might extend it down out to Joliet might actually be a good idea to just do that immediately. Let's do that. Um, okay, so Murrieta bus service needs to be renamed to Murrieta Joliet uh, bus service. And after Locust Street, we'll add Cedar Street, then back to Locust Street, and Lower Murrieta. That's perfect. Let's give you a color. And let's actually start. I'm going again because we can't afford anything right now. We cannot afford anything right now.
have three towns that need fuel here. We have oil, we have crude, and we have an oil refinery. But we don't have a fuel refinery. But we do have this fuel refinery, but do we have any fan stuff? Doesn't look like it. Nah. Not anywhere around here anyway. Okay. Come on, make me some money, please. That was the wrong way. That's better. So we can make the new line from there to there. And then it'll go down to Provo. So this will be Murrieta. Right now it's Olaith. Uh, I have a tiny bit of money. Um, let's buy a few buses for this. Well, buses is a strong word for a horse-drawn carriage, but uh, let's buy four. And we gave it this color. Okay. I really like this. Looks so good. So does this. Yeah, we have a lot of people here. Uh, we need to actually edit this line. So we have South Street, Madison Street, um, length transfer. Okay. Um, only transfer to South Street to Madison Street, and then down here. Ends at Madison Street, then needs to go South Street to overleaf the transfer. That'll do. Okay, let's stick in a train depot. Yes. Here is a good as place as any. Go in there. Put in a signal here. And let's take a look at vehicles. So we have the general, we have the Baldwin. I don't like the Baldwin. We're going with the general, that's for sure. But we need to save up some money. We need to save up some money. So I'm gonna let the game run a little bit in between episodes. I will pause the date speed and let the game run a little bit in between episodes so that we can afford having a train on this line or getting a train on this line so thank you very much for watching guys i hope you enjoyed it if you did why not leave a like and subscribe and i'll see you next time